What up, YouTube? It's your boy Big Al, right back at you with another video. What we're doing here today, guys, is we're going to do a razor fade. Kind of looks like a man bun. He's not really getting a man bun. What he's doing on top is uh, he's going to braid the top of his hair. This is one of my good buddies, boys. So I've been cutting his hair since he was a little guy. Now he's a big guy. What I'm doing first is I'm starting off with a number four. And what I'm doing is I'm just going up around the crown of the head. And, and basically what I'm doing is just taking down all the, the bigger bulk. That uh, Just get all the big bulk out of the way. So that way right now when I start knocking it all down, it's out of the way. So now what I start right here quickly is I grab my balder and just creating my first guide all the way around. My customer has real curly hair, so um, this is a perfect haircut for him because it just takes all the curliness out. He doesn't want to touch the top, so the top is going to braid. So basically what we're doing is just a zero razor fade all the way around. I've already gave you guys a secret a couple of times, guys. Get yourself a balder. The balder is the best machine you can use for making, creating that first guy. It just, it not, for me, it just knocks everything down so easily. And, and it just speeds up your, your process of getting that first guy in there. Again, guys, keep in mind that we sped up the video just to make it uh, so we could get through this a little faster, okay? So what we're doing right here now is I'm going with my number two, my metal number two, and I'm just going up right up to almost where I went with my number four, maybe a little lower, and um, just knocking down all the, the smaller bulk below that, just evening it out before I go out of my next step. Right here what I'm doing is I grab my trimmer, turn it upside down, and what I'm doing is creating my shave line. My shave line is where I'm gonna shave up with my wall shaver next step I grab my one clip with a lever open and I'm going all the way to the same spot where I went with my number two and as I go all the way up there I lower my lever down to a number one which is the number one and then I'm just going up halfway almost to the same spot again just lining up my canvas right here quickly I grab my my machine with no clip on which is a half Go all the way across maybe three quarters of an inch lower my machine halfway go up halfway to that and then i close it all the way completely and i'm just dotting the bottom line now i grab my trimmer and i'm just raking the bottom line just bringing it up just fading it out now i'm going to grab my machine with the machine halfway open and i'm just going to go right up to where i did my half line now I quickly grab my half clip, and my half clip, I'm gonna start fading out the center line, center shadow, lever open, go all the way back up to where I went with my one and a half. And as I go across, I lower my machine, my lever halfway, and I just basically dotting and raking the center shadow. Quickly taking out that center shadow so that we can move on to the next section, which is the back of the head. In real time, this haircut took me about maybe 25 minutes. Um, I moved pretty quickly through it, and I just move on to the next section right here, guys. So once again, right here, I start up with my number two, and I'm going back up to the crown of the head, okay? Not going in too much. Almost to where I went with the number four. Okay, guys, in case some of you guys are wondering why I'm doing clipper over comb right here. Uh, remember, we went with the number four up. And the customer right here didn't want me to touch too much of the back of his head because he's going to be uh, he's gonna be braiding his hair. So he didn't want too much of that back part right there taken up. So what I'm doing is just clipper over combing it a little bit, just evening it out. Because uh, I went up with the number two, but the number two doesn't blend me to a number four. So, of course, I had to use a little bit of clipper over comb. Right here now, I'm using my... My, my uh, T-Trimmer again to create my shave line for my shave after I'm done with my fade. OK, 
Okay guys, so right here we grab the number one and with the lever open and we're going all the way across. As we go across, we lock our lever and we're gonna go with the number one. Somehow right here guys, I must have skipped a spot with my videoing, my video, so sorry about that. We already seem to have faded the bottom. So now I grab my half clip and my half clip I'm going up and erasing that center shadow. The spot that we miss on this is the same way we use, same steps we use on the other side. Remember guys, when you fade, you're using the same steps on the side, the back, and the other side. That, that, that's how I fade. I mean, if you got one side down, you're going to get the other side down. Right here, I'm just using my half clip, and basically, I'm just cleaning up my shadows, cleaning that center shadow up. Again, now here, we grab our number two, metal number two, and we're going to go all the way up to this crown of the head, up to where we went with the number four. Now, again, I'm going to grab my clipper over comb and I'm just going to blend in that number four to the number two. So right here I'm just blending it in so we get for our next step. Our next step right here is going to be now when we grab our trimmer and again work our shave, our shave shadow. That's always create our shave shadow that way we know where we're going to shave up to. When you shave up to a shave shadow you won't have to remove that bottom line. grab our number one with the lever open we go all the way across and we close the lever to create our number one all the way across now we grab our half no clip with the lever open we lower it down halfway go across lower it one more time go all the way across now we're just dotting the bottom of the line then we pick up our trimmer and we hit the bottom line just taking out that bottom line now again we grab our half clip and we're just gonna work on that center shadow with the lever open go all the way across close the lever now we're gonna just dot the center shadow keep in mind guys that fading is all repetitious the more fades you do the better you're gonna get so all you gotta do is just work at it man uh, i mean when i first started fading i used to have so much trouble with the bottom line and now that's the least of my worries it's just something that you got to work out. It's repetitious. The more you do it, the better you're going to get it. Right here, I'm just touching up all the sides with my clip. With Without a clip, I'm just going with a half, halfway open. Just touching up all the edges. Now, I'm just going to grab my trimmer right here. And I'm going to prepare for the last part of the, uh, the haircut. And that's the shave. And I'm, what I'm doing is I, I created a shave line all the way across, so I am going to use my wall shaver. And that just adds that extra great shave feel to the haircut, you know what I mean? I mean, some people prefer the straight razor and some people prefer the shave machine. The shave machine, to me, gives it that much better of a haircut. It's just so much closer, way closer than you get ever get it with a straight razor that in mind I said it before guys if you're doing fades always try to sh end your fade with with the razor with the razor machine you know what I mean unless that, unless some customers you know some customers they don't like the razor machine because it does irritate their skin but if it doesn't man you should be using the razor machine on everybody even even kids if the kids willing to sit there through it I mean I, I use the razor machine on two-year-olds and one-year-olds if if, if, the, if the child will let me do it i i will do it on him i mean because the haircut lasts longer and it just gives it that tight feeling you know tight tight fade i was joking to my customer about this haircut and i told him that we were going to call this the pineapple express haircut because once i take that rubber band off top it kind of looks like a rubber it looks like a pineapple but you know what, the way I look at it, a customer comes in and he wants a certain something, uh, I give them what they want, you know what I mean? It's their hair and, and ultimately that's what we're here for. We're here to serve our customers and give them what they want, you know what I mean? And if that's what they want, then that's what you give them, guys. And this customer, he wanted a razor fade, no lineup, don't touch the top, I'm going to braid it. And I said, you got it, buddy, let's do this. That's it pretty much for this haircut, guys. Uh, I want to thank you guys again for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you leave me a comment, 
give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down. Uh, if anybody has any questions about this haircut or any comments that you guys want, I'll answer you guys all back. Or if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. That's what I'm here for, guys. I'm here to help out.